Hello, hello. I'm taking a break from makeup and skincare content today and focusing on nourishing myself from the inside out. It is cold and gray here. We actually had our very first dusting of snow this morning. What I am craving is cozy comfort food, but I'm gonna to try to put a healthy-ish spin on it. I am not paleo, I am not keto, I am not vegetarian. I don't count carbs or calories. I do try to have an awareness of balancing my proteins, carbs, and healthy fats to energize me throughout the day. I'm an omnivore, a flexitarian, with a focus on plants, organic whenever possible. I am not trying to tell you how to eat. I am simply sharing my fast and easy, cozy comfort, what I eat on a cold gray day in October. And with that, let's jump into it. Today we're doing one of my go-to breakfasts, an over easy egg on top of avocado Ezekiel toast, the last of the garden tomatoes, and a huge pile, three handfuls of spinach. I always like to include some produce in each and every meal, and since it's a chilly fall day today and I am not planning a salad, I wanted to make sure to incorporate some greens into breakfast. is breakfast, eating the rainbow. Bon appetit. Lunch is going to be very simple. I'd hoped to make a cozy homemade soup for you today, but I didn't get around to getting the ingredients. So Trader Joe's roasted tomato and red pepper soup is a favorite that's always in my pantry because it is so fast, easy, and delicious. I love Ezekiel bread. It is whole sprouted grains no ground flour so it is loaded with protein and fiber with less starchy carbs i still try to limit myself to two slices a day which is why i only had one piece of toast at breakfast and you will see i am making a half a grilled cheese for lunch and speaking of cheese Kerrygold gold dubliner cheese is the best it's made in ireland i pick it up at costco it's super yummy and great in grilled cheese Lunch is going to be very, very simple. I am doing a grilled cheese sandwich, a half a grilled cheese sandwich with, of course, my Ezekiel bread, and I will just cover that. While the sandwich is grilling, I'm going to prepare this Trader Joe's organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup. This is so, so, so yummy. Give it a good shake, give it a good pour, and I am just going to nuke that because it's fast and easy and there is lunch you know I had a pretty big breakfast this morning so I really wanted to lighten it up so we're only having a half a grilled cheese sandwich and there is nothing more comforting and cozy than tomato soup it just brings back childhood memories tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich such great comfort food I'm going to top off the tomato soup with a little fresh ground black pepper. And there is lunch. Bon appetit. For dinner, I am putting together a quick and easy fall harvest bowl. I have some local organic rotisserie chicken, garnet sweet potatoes, which I will roast. 
I will roast the sweet potatoes for about 20 minutes, add some broccoli, roast them for about another 15, and we will have some beautiful roasted veggies. I will serve that over a bed of arugula and a rice medley frozen from Trader Joe's. So I have a combination of sort of homemade and convenience foods. Let's put this together. And here we have the roasted veggies fresh out of the oven. And yes, I did slightly overchar the broccoli, but oh well, it's still going to be delicious. Let's put this harvest bowl together. Right. Starting with nice big handful of organic arugula, a heaping cup of Trader Joe's rice medley, roasted vegetables. Lots of roasted vegetables. Roasted chicken breast and a couple of tablespoons of chopped walnuts. I am going to drizzle just a little bit of one of my favorite dressings. This is Organic Salad Girl Curry and Fig Dressing. And there you have it, dinner in a bowl. Cozy comfort food for a cold, gray fall day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you might also enjoy my most recent What I Eat in a Day video, where I shared a super, super delicious soup recipe. YouTube is gonna play it up next if you'd like to keep watching. I will also link it in the description box below. I'm also going to link a video from one of my very favorite creators here on YouTube, Nanny, who has the channel Crushing Their 80s. Recently, she shared a recipe for a baked egg breakfast dish that looked delicious. It had pesto and sun-dried tomatoes. I really need to try that recipe. If you're not familiar with Nanny, you must check her out. She is about to turn 85 and she is absolutely gorgeous. She's energetic, she's creative, she's wise. She does it all. She does beauty and makeup and skincare and decor and cooking and gardening. I literally cannot say enough good things about her. She is my YouTube mama when I'm looking for a little inspiration and wisdom and comfort. Anyway, I could go on and on, but please check out Nanny Crushing Their 80s. Her channel and her video is linked below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, I would really love it if you would throw it a thumbs up. That really helps support my channel, and I very, very much appreciate it. And please, please share your favorite cozy comfort foods for fall. And with all that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day and a wonderful week. Please take really, really good care of yourself, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.